up. This is Stomp and Romp. I'm here to um, show you real quick how to do subnetting. Um, be sure to also check out my tutorials on binary and sire. Uh, for this one, for subnetting, you do need to know how to do binary, okay? So this is actually pretty easy. So this is on subnetting. Now, I took the liberty to make my little binary chart down here already to save me some time um, for the sake of time. Now, Class A, B, and C, you should know your ranges, all right? So you should know in your head, you know, 1 to 126 aroundish is a Class A, 128 to 191 is a B, so forth, so on. Now, what these are, the N, H, 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 N, N, what that is, Class A has a um, network part and then three host parts, and it's subnet mask. Okay, same thing for the B. It has two networks and two hosts, and it's subnet mask. Class C has three networks and one host portion in its subnet mask. Okay, if that's still a little confusing, let's uh, show you what that means there. Okay, you need to know this to subnet. So let's say uh, you have an IP. Let's say it's a, a class B. So like 163.9.1.1. Okay, looking at that right there, you know that that's a class B. So that's going to tell you your subnet mask um, has two networks and two hosts. You only subnet from the host portion in the subnet mask. Okay, so like let's let's say your subnet mask is like like uh, whatever. Okay, what you're gonna do using our handy dandy binary decoder table we built, <laughs> you're gonna decode for this particular instance only the last two. Why is that? Okay, why wouldn't you decode these? Well, you don't borrow from the network. I the network portion you can. But you typically don't do that when you submit. You're only going to borrow from the host portion, which are these two. Okay? So you borrow from these last two. If this was a class C subnet mask, you would only borrow from this one. Okay? So, <clears throat> and you know, if it was an A, you'd borrow from, you could borrow from the last three. You'd have a lot more, wouldn't you? So anyway, we, we know that this is a B. We know that we can only borrow from the host, which in a B are the last two octets. Okay, so what we need to do first, real quick, is decode these. So, does 45 go into 128? No. Nope. Uh, whoa, what am I doing? <laughs> Those are inactive because they don't go in there, right? Now, does 32 go into um, 45? Yes. And the 16, no. Um, oops. <clears throat> okay. Does uh, 32 plus 8 go into 45? Yes, that would be 40. Okay, and yeah, and no, and yes. So let's see, 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals 45, right? Excellent. And let's decode the 6. Huh. 128 definitely don't go into it. All right. Neither does 64. Neither does 32. 16, 8. Close, but so far away. 4, yes. And 2, yes. And 1 would make 7, so no. And that equals 6, right? Boom. Okay. So now you want to go ahead and write this out. 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 1, 0. All right. So we know that, that this one right here equals our 45. This one equals our 6, right? Which is also this, right? The host host equals this, this, equals this, this in binary with me so far now it's real easy to subnet you count them once to find the host amount of host in this um, subnet mask you count the zeros okay so first we'll subnet it so um, we're gonna count the ones we have one two three four five six we have six ones okay so you're gonna put a little mathematical formula in there and it goes something like this two to the however many uh, ones that you have power so two to the sixth power and minus two 
you always subtract two for the network and the host ID. Okay, if you don't want those R, look them up. You, inside your subnet mask, you have that network and host IDs. They're used for um, algorithms and routing purposes. Okay, you always subtract for those. So if we type in our calculator, two to the sixth power minus two, we're gonna have a, um, approximately 62 subnets from this um, subnet mask that we could create and work with. So we could, um, we could, you know, find those ranges. We could uh, put those ranges into our router and and get 62 additional subnet ranges and subnetworks out of out of this subnet. Okay. Now that would affect <clears throat> that would affect your IP ranges here. Okay. Now how many hosts do you get? Well, you count the zeros. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're going to go 2 to the 10th power, because it's 10 zeros, minus 2. And let's see how many hosts that's going to give us. 2 to the 10th power, minus 2. That's going to give us a whopping 1,022 host. Okay? And um, that would, uh, you know, that would affect um, your subnet mask here. Okay? I'm sorry, that would affect your... Um, your IP. All right, so let's verify that that's legit. Uh, if you watch my cider video, you know we always start with the slash 24 cider and go up or down. Okay, and we know by default that a slash 24 cider allows us for 254 host. So let's use in our formula. Let's verify if, if that is right or if our formula is right or whatnot, real quick. Um, so 254 slash 24 simply means what? 24 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 24. And then the rest would be what? All zeros. And what is a slash 24? That's a typical 255.255.255.0 class C subnet mass, correct? Okay. So using um, that, <clears throat> we know that in a class C, you can only use the host portion. So that would leave us with how many? Eight zeros. So two to the eighth power minus two equals. Let's do it on our calculator. Two eighth power minus two. Guess what? It checks out. Turn 54 host. And how many subnets do you get out of this? Well, here's the golden rule of subnet subnetting. Inside the host, whether it be a B, A, C, whatever, if you have no ones, you can't subnet it. There are no subnets. So here, since that is um, class C, the 254, we have no subnets in this particular one. Okay, let me check my time here. Uh, I have it real quick. I can show you if, um, let's pretend if we had like, Okay, well, it's screwed up on me, so. Oh, it's drawing. Okay. Well, uh, don't want to draw. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's pretend we had a slash 20, uh, 25. Well, now we could do something with that. So we have, what, 25 ones, right? So there again, we know, well, we could just change this. 8, 16, 24, and you'll just change that. Oh, well, now we can, we can submit. So we're going to do 2 to the um how many how many ones do we have we have one this is a class c still okay so we have two to the one equals oh i'm sorry minus two okay two to the one minus two well unfortunately <laughs> it's still zero so we can't subnet that and let's see if our host what our host is two to the seventh power minus two equals two to the seventh power minus two and now we have 126 host okay so i hope that helps um hope you uh learn something if you have any questions on that let me know i like to um figure this out to figure out my subnets and then i'll show you another method later that you can actually put the ranges in to get your ip ranges and your different subnet mask peace